I will tell you what, man. Blood incantation is pretty all right. Oh, hi there. What are you up to today, kids? You, you want to learn how to sew a battle jacket? Well, the final hammer will provide you with that assistance, including links and how to sew it actually on and where to get your jackets. Let's start. All right, so obviously the first thing you're gonna need is some pins and some material to sew with. Second thing you're gonna need is, hold on, let me move my, uh, there we go. You're gonna need some patches. Now you can get these anywhere from eBay to Amazon, and there's even some sites and Facebook trader groups you can go to, you can go to Etsy. You can find them pretty much anywhere, but I will link down some of my favorite places where I get patches personally. Another good place to get them is just go to concerts. Obviously right now that's difficult, which is why I'm going to link down below where I get mine and where you could get yours. And then you're going to need a jacket. Now with the jackets, it's kind of simple, kind of like the patches. You could go just about anywhere and find them. Myers has them. You could cut the sleeves off. You could do all kinds of things with them. You could even have just a battle jacket. Those exist too. I think I got mine right here. But um, you could get those. You can get them on Amazon. I got this one off of Amazon. It was pre-ripped, but it was also on sale for like 10, 10 fucking bucks. So, you know. Pick and choose your battles. I will link a couple places down below as well. But honestly, your best bet's probably just going to like a thrift store or something. Because they have like all kinds of weird clothes from the 80s. So you might find like a, a nice jean jacket. Quick run through of what I have on my jacket. I have one back patch. I've got three other patches. These are all shittily sewn on. But they're done by myself. That's all that matters. I've got, of course, municipal waste. I've got some little... um. Pins on here, got Exodus pin, a Baphomet pin, Visceral Discourage, Exhumed and Incantation. Got an aborted patch. Then I got my Blood Incantation, Cannibal Corpse, another aborted patch, and a shitty Behemoth patch that I got for like a dollar from my favorite record store. Quick plug to Vertigo Music, downtown GR, Michigan. All right, so now that we've got our patch that we're going to work with, got my little Exodus patch here that I've been meaning to sew on forever, but I just keep procrastinating. We've got our sewing kit. It's time to learn how to sew. All right, so here comes probably one of the most irritating parts, which is going to be threading your needle. See, uh, you should, if I can get my camera to focus here, or it might just be that small. I think it's that small. Anyway, there's a little opening right here. This is what you've got to get your thread through. Now, like I said, this part's a little bit of a pain, but bear with me here. I recommend licking your fingertip, getting the very end of the thread. A little moist. That way it slides in nice and easy. Okay, once you got it, you're going to want to pull it through. You're going to want to pull enough through. I always say probably extra is better. So you pull it, and you're going to want to get around equal sides here. Oh, I didn't grab my scissors. Of course I didn't. You make the cut. Put your thread back in its little case. All right, now we have a needle with some thread in it. Now, it's probably gonna be a good idea to make sure that your thread is even, because we're gonna be doing a double thread. So, this is pretty easy. All you gotta do is, you know, match up the two things with your finger, pinch it, and then get the needle to balance itself out. See? Okay. All right. Now comes another kind of annoying part, tying. 
This isn't too bad. I it's basically like kind of tying a shoe. At least that's what I do. I do like a quick little bow tie knot. Do -do 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 -do. Like that. Okay, tighten it and then do a double. Maybe. This part's a little harder. But if you leave a wide enough hole, the second one, you'll be able to just slide it right in and get a good double knot right there. Okay. Ta da! So now we have the spot where it's going to lock. And even if it doesn't lock immediately, that is okay. Dude, man, my camera's like got a mind of its fucking home today. Ugh. All right, so here we go. We've got our needle, we've got our thread, and it is tied. So what do we do next? Grab our patch. For me personally, I think it would be perfect right under this aborted patch. It's not taking up too much space, doesn't look too bad, and it'll fill in some of my jacket because my jacket's not, it's basically naked right now. So it'll fill it in right here. So what I recommend doing is get, ping it in place. All right, so you're gonna pin it in place. So this isn't mandatory. I didn't do this for my first couple patches. I just didn't really feel a need to. Oof, and this is a iron-on patch, which means it is going to be a pain in the ass. I recommend not getting iron-on. I recommend embroidered every time. It's just better that way, honestly. Because you don't want to iron on your patches. They're just going to fall off eventually. I had iron on when I was in Boy Scouts. And they never really stood. So no matter what, I highly recommend you pin it. I highly recommend also that you do not iron it on. Please don't iron it on. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is... Go under the shirt. I always recommend starting below. I always recommend starting at a corner. I'm actually going to use a second pin to keep it in place here. And another thing, this is time consuming. So don't expect to walk into this and it be fast and easy. Like most things, this takes time to learn. I'm still not very good at it, as you can tell. Most of my patches are shitty. But... It's not always about how it looks. It's about the bands you want being on a jacket. You're repping your favorite shit. That's essentially what this is. All right, so we've got it tied. We've got our needle. We've got our thread. We are going to go down below, poke around here, find that corner spot. Oh yeah, there we go. And another thing, you might poke your fingers, so get ready for that, because it is going to happen. Shit hurts. Alright. Okay. Got our needle through. First part. I should probably have picked one that wasn't iron on for the first one, because it's... Holy shit. All right, hold up. Okay, so we've got our thread in, officially. So now, this next part is kind of important. See where I'm threading here? There you go, put it in. Like I said this one is iron-on, so it's got glue in it, which makes it a little bit harder. I did that to myself. Paying attention. Another thing you can do is I recommend ironing them on actually and then sewing them on. They'll already be in place and you will not need a clip to do that. I can make a separate video explaining that if for whatever reason enough people watch this and want that. So let me flip around. And it's always important to track where you're going to. So don't be afraid to turn it around, go into the back. Just make sure you know where your needle's going. Like I said, it's kind of time consuming. It's not easy. So don't be afraid if it's not perfect. Because... It's 
stuff takes time. Right now, I am 100% shit. I should have ironed it on. That's what I'm thinking now. And this is just for an instructional video. Uh, make sure all your thread is in there. You don't have any little loops like this. You want to make sure you get those tight. It will not affect your jacket overall, but it's just, it looks cleaner that way. And you don't have to worry about it. But yeah, once you get in like a little rhythm, it'll be way easier. Like I said, it really just comes with time. But yeah, you can tug on the threads. Don't be afraid. You don't want to tighten it too much, but you also want to under tighten it. And make sure that's, you know, not even sewed on the jacket. All right. So quick update. This is future hammer here. We are halfway through the patch officially. Still trying to get through it. This part right here was a little bit of a challenge because it's right on the seam. So it was thicker material and I had to go through other stitching. But that's part of the process, so we're almost done. All right, so we are just about finished with the patch here. It's completely sewn on all corners. It's a little rough on the bottom, but when I sew another patch on, I'm just gonna try and fix this one as well. On the bottom, I have a gap that's a little bit too wide for my liking, but it's all right. We're gonna finish this up here. Put the needle back through the beginning area. Flip it over. Snip it. Now, I haven't really seen anyone discuss, like, what they do for tying it. But I that's pretty much just what I do, is I just give it a quick little knot right here. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt, but if you can get it, you know... I like it for peace of mind. I like trying to make sure that it's like 100% like, hey, you know, it's in there. A little hard to do with these little ones. But yeah. There we are. Patch has been put on. It's a better look right there. It's on there good. Alright guys. Hope that was some kind of helpful. I didn't really have... It's hard to find good tutorials on these because they're always missing something. Like I'm sure... I'm sure there's going to be something I missed in this video too. But um... Yeah. Pretty much all there is to it. It's... Like I said, it's a little tricky. Yeah, right there I ended up just sewing under the seams because it was a struggle to get it on that. But, um, yeah. We got it. We got it. Thanks for checking it out, guys. That was the final hammer. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below in the comments and I will try to help you the best I can. Thank you.